Hey everyone, I'm TCS23 with Crossout Basics, and welcome to the first episode of Battle of the Builds. In this series, I'll be putting different vehicles to the test in order to find out if they really have what it takes to make it in the wastelands. With so many weapons and custom build combinations to choose from in this game, it can be difficult to know what to grind for next. So I decided to come up with a rating system to determine a standardized value for any build you create. After analyzing dozens of mission summary stats, I noticed a pattern emerging. On average, about 65% of players in a single match, including AI, will score below 500 points, while 35% will score 500 or above. This means a large majority of players are not having a significant impact during a match. Now, you might be wondering, what makes 500 a significant number? Well, this is what I consider to be the cutoff score. In other words, if you earn less than 500 points in any given match, you're really not supporting your team well enough. Now, in reality, every build is going to perform poorly at times. But the important question is whether or not the majority of your scores are above this range and to what extent. Now, since 500 is the low end, by contrast, I've also found that scoring 3,000 points or above in a single match is very difficult to achieve, and I consider this to be the high end score. Using these numbers as the parameters, I came up with what I call the build rating system. Here's how it works. After each game, you make note of your base score, which is found here. Then you transfer that over to the build rating system, and starting with the range, find what bracket your score falls into. This will in turn determine a point value for a single game. As you can see, any scores below 500 do not receive any points. This process should then be repeated for 20 consecutive games in order to give you a more well-rounded picture of a build's performance. Lastly, all points should be tallied up and this will give you a final score that directly corresponds to a build rating. Of course, this rating is not set in stone and this process can be repeated in order to improve a build's rating, but at least this will give you an idea of whether you're running a solid build or one that needs a serious upgrade. Now that we have that out of the way, let's check out our first two competing build designs. First up is the dual prosecutor build. These cannons have a combined damage output of 269 points per shot, along with armor piercing capabilities. It uses an epic recharge booster for a 20% increase in reload speed, and it carries a Doppler radar for excellent enemy awareness. It's currently sporting the white honeycomb paint along with six racing wheels for an overall solid and rugged look. Next up is the aggressive Triple Hawk drone build. Equipped with three twin barrel minigun drones, it has a combined damage output of 142 points per second. It uses a special stealth module that provides six seconds of invisibility, and it too carries a Doppler radar for enemy tracking. A prominent feature of this build is the use of a Tusk cabin which has the potential to reach a collision damage output of over 3,000 points, depending on variable factors. With a blue honeycomb paint and rear Bigfoot wheels, this build is ready for action. Both of these builds fall within the 6 to 7,000 power score range, and their power score difference is less than 100 points of each other. So with that said, which build do you think will outperform the other? Before we see the results, let's check out some gameplay highlights of each build.
Well, to be honest, both of these builds surprised me by what they were capable of. But the real question is, how well did they score after 20 games? Starting with the dual prosecutor build, here are the base scores. Using these numbers, let's add them to the build rating chart. So with one MVP and a burst score of 23 points, the dual prosecutor build comes in at the rank of C, or complacent. A complacent build is one that can be successful at times, but your teammates will likely want to see better support than that. Now let's check out the scores from the Triple Hawk build. With two MVPs and a burst score of 20 points, the Triple Hawk build gets a rank of C-. This build is teetering on the edge of being considered deficient, which means it's really close to lacking the necessary parts to even be considered effective at this power score. Now, as I mentioned before, these ratings can be improved by playing another 20 consecutive games. But then again, you might just want to reconsider grinding for a build of this quality. Well, that will wrap up the first episode of Battle of the Builds. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have a build that you would like to see featured in this series, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you would like to download these builds and test them for yourself, I'll add them to the exhibition for a limited time. Other than that, I'll see you here next time on Crossout Basics.